Hi everybody. Alright, so web investigators into the Flint water crisis are actually complaining because Flint residents are not using enough water. Oddly enough, these, these people who are being brought in are complaining because they are not using enough water. Virginia Tech professor Mark Edwards, the leader of the University of Flint's water study team, announced the latest water testing results from homes in Michigan City during a news conference Tuesday, April 12. Basically concluding that Flint residents who have grown accustomed to using bottled water to avoid faucets basically need to start turning on their tap. Uh, Mark Edwards uh, said on Tuesday that its residents are, are afraid of using the water running and basically not doing so is basically leading to more problems getting rid of the lead in the current system and the current pipes. Basically saying that if people aren't showering as much and doing things with the water, basically are leaving everything leery of drinking and cooking with tap water, even with faucet filters, and don't want to pay higher bills for water they're not using despite the state helping to offset rates. And basically, because they're not using the appropriate um, levels of water, the teams in control of the water cleanup aren't getting the results they need to actually filter out all the lead in the pipes, supposedly. Now, I hate to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, if my city decided to fill my family's home with lead in the pipes. So what they're basically saying, folks, is you need to turn on your taps and allow the lead and everything to affect your faucets and affect your drains. You need it to finally consume your family. And don't worry about it. We'll control the rates and basically kill your family off slowly while we do what is probably as little as they can to actually filter it out through the system instead of just switching it back over to the other water source that was clean, which should have been done within hours of hearing that the faucets were turning, you know, crusty due to lead and looking like a bunch of sludge. Because at that point, ladies and gentlemen, it was not water, it was sludge. And at that point, Someone should have been arrested for the decision made, and the decision to switch it back should have happened within hours. But instead of doing that, because we're getting so greedy, even this Virginia Tech professor basically is asking people to turn on their taps, expose the families who haven't already had exposure to the lead in the water, to more exposure to go down the drain and basically allow the city and them to build their faster even though we have absolutely no evidence especially supported by this document and you'll see the source uh, at the bottom uh, to even suggest they are doing anything to actually filter out the problem from their end so I mean I'm looking through here and basically the city since reconnected the Detroit area's water system, which uses corrosive chemicals on Lake Huron water and added additional uh, orthophosphates, uh, uh, but the damaged pipes basically need the coating, which they don't have. Edward spoke about the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency and the Michigan Department of Environmental Quality and said that they could soon announce a plan to boost water use quickly. And there have been discussions about providing water for free for a couple of weeks. But notice what it's not saying. We have run the systems in the background. We have done X and Y and Z. And if you were to run the taps for, say, 72 hours straight for, I don't know, a period of a month, with a day or two in between, we could have the rest of the lead filtered out within a month or two. 
You want to know why they don't have those stats in front of them? Because they're probably not doing shit to solve it. That's my opinion. And I haven't been given any reason to believe that these guys are actively stopping this from happening. I don't think they will. I think they poisoned nearly 100,000 people. And I don't think one of them is ever going to see an inside of a jail cell for it. That's right. That's what I believe. Thank you.